What's going on guys, Green Controller, I bring you some Dying Light 2, uh, I haven't played this at all, uh, played some of the first one, but that's about it, so we're going to jump right into this and check it out. Jesus. I will have died. I can't make that jump. You still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. And you used to be younger. And dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. How do I jump? RB? That's a random button to fucking jump. See you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. How you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, yeah, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Bunch of bees right here. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Ooh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. Yeah, this will do. Oh, here's a fucking zombie in the background. You remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. More honey right here. New blueprint for crafting. Parts on the right. Medicine right here. And I have medicine. Come on, we almost there.
Wow. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm big on looting, so... We shall see. Empty. No, nothing here. Keep hitting that button. I'm using a, a scuff controller. <laughs> so every time I hit that button, it kind of throws me behind. Party. Last spring party. Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. Put me in a custom. What the? Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Well, okay. Damn. in here. Be cool if I could pick up the guitar. If I can smash zombies' brains with it. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. That's what they called art? Looks like there's blood on it. Still no weapons though. Familiar. Am I missing something? Then that door, that door. Oh, I have a feeling I have a cutscene right here or some shit. Some pills on the table. To celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. 
Let's hope we get that lucky, too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. At least they had each other. They all took pills, it looks like. She was classy. I don't know what I would do. Take pills and end it or risk it for the biscuit. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. <laughs> He's like, come here and sit down. Sit down, buddy. For you. A oh. gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. Expired beer. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary? It's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me one. <laughs> uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the Who hill? Who doesn't have something to hide? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes <laughs> racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. <laughs> Beautiful. 
steely, huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. Oh. I'll drink to that. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, maybe. My time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy, or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. Got it. I'll probably forget. Can I jump off of this? <sighs> that is a yes. <laughs> Oh shit. So here. Oh, alcohol. And honey. More honey. There's a lot of bee nests. Or beehives. Damn, that thing is like really on there. Oh 
Holy shit, there's a lot. I saw my stamina off of just that. <clears throat> oh, I lose stamina just climbing like up the ladder. To collect this stuff while I can, right? Is there another one? There's another one. That's insane. I've never seen that many beehives all next to each other. You've leveled up your parkour proficiency and earned the first parkour skill point. Allows you to reach higher ledges when you hold on while jumping. Now I have a high jump. Which I guess you need for right here. Almost yep. there. <laughs> I can jump so freaking high, oh my god. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. I won't get any better than this. Cast station should be here somewhere. Well, that's not good that there's footsteps there. feel about that. Someone moved them not long ago. It's 
been moved. Okay, let's give it a try. This is it, the broadcast station. I gotta start the generator. I thought I was supposed to like stay somewhere for the night. Not start a generator. I thought there was only one way around to here is insane. Bro, oh, just kill the zombies and then worry about that. Like the fuck? Whoa. What the hell is that? Um, the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Again, what the fuck? I'm like dodging? Okay, fuck you. Where'd you go? Yeah, like, the fuck? Stop it. Oh, you... Phew. Jesus. That was close. I get the hang of dodging a lot better. <laughs> That looks so menacing though. Look at that. Ugh. Turn this on, doesn't affect infected? 
Oh, that's why I couldn't come in here. <laughs> Safe zones. <coughs> Which guarantees safety at night. Just need safe zones. The rest of the place where you can stash it. Seem like it'll be all right. Wait here. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. Oh. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. I know. Looks like they're doing experiments. Do what I tell you. Jesus, even if they separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. Military will be here any moment. Wait. Close your eyes. How the fuck do you make it out of there? Yeah. 
Now time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I mean, he could be lying. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita. Alrighty, with that, we're going to end this episode right there. If you enjoyed watching, as always, be sure to like, button, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.